Neymar left red-faced after X-rated request. Shakira candidly discussing her breakup with Gerard Piquet. Messi missing his wife's birthday. The circus never stops in football and we're here to bring you some of the juiciest tales from the private lives of your favourite players. After all, the beautiful game isn't just about tactics and statistics. Sometimes it's a good idea to wind down on a lighter note. So without further ado, here is this weekend's instalment of The Locker Room. Just like every year since his arrival in the French capital, Neymar is injured in February. As if by chance, he succumbs to injury the same month that coincides with carnival time in Rio. But his absence has been acutely felt this year. He missed PSG's Coupe de France loss to arch-rivals Marseille, while he looks to be ruled out as well of the second leg of the Champions League round of 16 clash against Bayern Munich. His recent attitude has incited frustration from the club's hierarchy and the club's fan base. After their first leg defeat to Bayern, he was spotted participating in a poker tournament before being snapped in McDonald's. Despite being sidelined with injury, that hasn't prevented him from hitting the headlines. A Brazilian reality TV star has recently revealed that she was in fact pursued by the PSG star. Former volleyball player turned a model Kay Alves revealed that she had received a rather cheeky proposition from the playmaker. He wanted to make love to her as well as her twin sister. Kay has since slated the star for his X-rated request. If he'd sent me a simple message, I'd already be in Paris, but he went too far. Neymar thought he'd notched a brace, but all he received was a pie to the face. I like to call that one ego ligament damage. Now, if you thought that the Shakira PK saga was over, <laughs> think again. This has got to be the most talked about breakup since Cleopatra and Julius Caesar. But there have been new developments. Shakira is done with the death threats. After her Twingo Ferrari punchline and a video of her lip syncing lyrics with a reference to a desire to kill PK and his new flame garnered 120 million views on YouTube. But it seems the Colombian megastar has cooled on that front. In an exclusive sit down with a Mexican TV channel, the Waka Waka hitmaker candidly discussed her complicated relationship with love. She admitted to always having been emotionally dependent on men and seeking their validation. Yep, there's hope for us all. Despite being one of the sexiest women on earth, she still has her doubts and fears like the rest of us. I've completely adopted the notion of women needing a man to feel complete. She then revealed that she's in love with love. So perhaps we now know why she took the breakup so painfully. Never mind Shaq, there's plenty more fish in the sea. Now, normally when you miss your wife's birthday, it's a straight red card and a three night suspension on the sofa. But Lionel Messi is not like everybody else, as if we didn't know that already. His partner Antonella Ricuzzo revealed that there were no hard feelings about him missing her birthday, but in fairness, he did have a valid excuse. And that is that he was too busy ripping Marseille to shreds at the Stade Velodrome. With a goal and two beautiful assists for Kylian Mbappe, La Pulga set Le Classique alight. But did we really expect Antonella to spend her big day curled up on the sofa with a hot chocolate? Of course we didn't. She decided to treat herself to a cheeky getaway with Cesc Fabregas's better half. The pair took to the mountains and even frolicked in the snow in their bikinis. But fear not, they were fortunate enough to warm up in their very own jacuzzi. Oh, how the other half live. Anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed this installment of The Locker Room. We'll be back again next weekend for more juicy anecdotes from the footballing world. In the meantime, take care and as always, football forever.